Uh, you may have heard over the break some reports that it turned out, although it, now it turns out that wasn't true, but there was a rumor that Jenny McCarthy's son did not have autism. Did you get those a tweets? A lot of tweets, yes. Okay. Um, well, now the story is that she's furious over rumors circulating that her son doesn't have autism. Um, this is what she said. Stories circulating online claiming that I said my son Evan may not have autism after all are blatantly inaccurate and completely ridiculous. Evan was diagnosed with autism by the Autism Evaluation Clinic at the UCLA Neuropsychiatric Hospital and was confirmed by the state of California. The implication that I have changed my position that my child was not initially diagnosed with autism is both irresponsible and inaccurate. Right. She went on to say, continued misrepresentations such as these only serve to open wounds of the many families who are courageously dealing with this disorder. It Please does. know that I am taking every legal measure necessary to set this straight. So, Why does it open a wound if your kid is autistic? Because someone brought up autism Ouch. on the Internet? For a delicate yeah. wound. You're living with an autistic nine-year-old. You don't mm-hmm. think you're, well, you I forgot all time. about the kid right. who just dumped the Ovaltine on his head. I, I don't. Uh, I had no idea. Oh, but then I saw this tweet, this vicious tweet, and it opened the wound. It opened that the wound that had just barely scabbed over. Oh, she's such a horrible person. First, uh, that look, people get autism. Uh, you are putting other people in jeopardy by telling them not to be vaccinated, and and doing a sort of witch doctor bullshit where you've decided that because look, Brian got a brain tumor. What, Brian? Did not live too close to the power station. Brian did not sit too close to the TV set. He just masturbated too much. Obviously, God just hates Brian. I did love Coke Zero. (laughs) (laughs) It is not you standing too close to the microwave. It's not. It's it's, it's, there's a percentage of people that get a certain thing. That's what we are. It works. That's how nature works. It sucks because there are a number of things that. Certain activities will cause this certain thing, but then it causes a hysteria where it's like, oh, there must be something for everything. Like, no, there's not something nah, for everything. It's a, it's a narcissism when you've decided that this has caused my child or my spouse or my whatever neighbor to get this. It's a form of narcissism. It's the ultimate narcissism because it's a form of control. Like I cannot mm-hmm. – the, 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 the most vulnerable will, will ever feel is out of control. Like when you go – I mean it's as old as time. Some – you know – kid gets uh, you know some somebody you know becomes ill and is dying and you go oh the demons have now and you know have taken it's over the soul yes spirit part of our brain right shit happens a certain amount of kids have autism that's it uh you'd like to chalk it up to your sort of pseudoscience blonde bullshit it's not true and you can potentially do more harm because of of a, a, a greater number of kids may die of whooping cough or something because of this versus the ones that may or may not get autism from the vaccination, which is nothing to support that. But we do this all the time and nobody ever really we hear the first report about it coming out, but no one ever really follows up. This is bullshit. And I I'm again, I am bothered by her because I do believe. Well, first off, I saw that I saw her movie Dirty Love. I think it was. And I went, you know, this is one that was written, directed by, that's just a piece of shit. It just shows how empty and devoid she is of talent. Um, but she's also one of those, I'm a good-looking blonde, but I'm going to tell a fart joke and win everyone over. Um, she's so down to earth. Right. She's one of us. So she gets to be funny, but she's not really funny. She's just funny for a good-looking blonde. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think the CDC called her a menace to public health. Well, if you convince, if you can convince enough people, I mean, you know, what if there was just a campaign where a celebrity was trying to convince people to start smoking? People would be outraged, right? Like, oh, hey, young people, it's really, it's cool. Remember James Dean? He smokes, a good thing he did. He was cleaned out by Buick when he was 23. Now, 
What if he had to white knuckle it and quit earlier that year? You know, what if somebody just went on a pro smoking campaign as a celebrity encouraging young po- folks to smoke? That person would be a fucking pariah because you go, you're endangering the lives of young people. Well, if you go on an anti vaccination campaign, you're endangering yeah. the lives of young people. And yes, you are a pariah. You know, it bothers me on a much smaller scale, but still, the anti pasteurization campaign, all the raw milk and all that stuff. I don't know what the worst thing you can catch from raw milk is. Maybe it's just you're going to get diarrhea. But there's a reason that that shit's pasteurized. Actually, because there's shit in that shit, and that's what's pasteurized. Uh, the, the, this, whatever it's the, look, if it's the fluoride in the water, the pasteurization of the milk, or whatever the fuck it is, just let the people with the degrees figure it out and stop thinking that they're coming for you and your child. Just leave it the fuck alone and move on.